Can't. Can't wake up. What? What is he? What? Wake up. What? You said I could take a siesta. No, I said fiesta. Oh, fiesta. Stick around. We're going to have some enchiladas with some homemade enchilada sauce. It'll make you sleepy after you eat it. Night, night. Hey, as you can see, Santa Claus is nearby. But I'll guarantee you, old Santa, when he comes to this house, he comes hungry. Ain't no cookies and milk. No, Santa, he wants beef. He wants steak. He wants all kinds of good stuff. But this time, we're fitting to treat Santa to a little south of the border special with some good old homemade enchilada sauce. To start out to make really good enchilada sauce, What's got to happen? You got to have some dried chilies. These are what make it really good. I promise this is authentic. You see them in a sack over here. They come by the bushel basket, whatever you want to buy them by, but oh, they are good. We're going to add a little water in here just so we can make a, a steaming effect. Put all these chilies in there. We're going to put us about a half of this onion in there for the starting process but you don't want it diced you don't want it chopped you just want it sliced about like so there but folks we're gonna need to give it a little pinch of salt and I like to use some of that coarse sea salt a little bit of black pepper got it on a propane burner on about medium heat put the lid on there because we want to create some steam we are going to have to stir that here in a minute and check it because I just want them soft enough because we're going to put them in one of them newfangled gadgets that Santa brought a long time back. That is a blender. Whew, that is smelling some of that good. I like to add a little pinch of garlic about the time it really gets to simmering good. We're going to put the lid back on it and let it go till everything gets good and soft. That way them chilies will blend well in that blender. Let's check it. We've been on about five minutes, medium heat. I want to make sure that them chilies is pretty pliable and soft and they get in there. So we're going to call this deal fish and chilies out of there because we're just going to chop them a little and we've got to get rid of them stems. But let's not forget that onion that's in there because he got to go too. That'd make a Happy Meal right there all in its own. Them stems will pop right off there. But if you want to take the seeds out, some people do, some don't. I like to leave mine in there, some of them. But just peel that out. Most of them seeds will shake right out of there because we're going to pull the stems off of them. So as we go through this process, Shen can, that's another way there. You just take the end off of them, slap them down there. Them seeds will fall out of them. It's sort of like killing a rattlesnake. You just pop a head of them off and everything's good. We got them deheaded. We're going to give them just a little chopping. We got to put them in that blender, but I want them to chop a little quicker than that. I have to apologize for being modern today. It says right here, you can't get full on fancy. Here's one of them electrified deals. Now I ain't got no electricity at the wagon, but Frank's over there on one of them pedal generator deals and he is chasing a sparrow into one of them cages to make the electricity. So before Frank gets too tired, we're gonna add them chilies in there. down the home stretch coming across the bend. It's the blender in first place, Frank in second, but now Frank has passed the blender. Oh, it was a close race. Make sure that everything is mixed well and you see, don't see no big hunks or chunks or nothing like that. What happens next? You remember that pot we used the first time? We fit to put it back in there. Look at that goodness. That is what I call just right. We're going to make these enchiladas today in a 12 inch shallow Dutch oven. 
Now, you want to take enough of that sauce to give you a good little coating there in the bottom. It ain't got to be too deep or anything. You just want to make sure that some of it is there, which probably going to end up probably being pretty close to about a third of it. And brown me up a one pound of certified Angus beef hamburger meat, some green chilies, one can. I just chopped them up, hatch green chilies, and about a half, that other half of that Vidalia onion we had out of here, and just seasoned it well with whatever you want to use, but what should you use? Red River Ranch original. That's what you should use. That's what Santa prefers on his meat. Make sure it goes all the way. You know what really upset me when you go to a Mexican food place? You have to bite into more than half of it before you find the meat. Got our meat lined out here. This is what you call perpendicular, horizontal to the sun's angle to where it's just right, I promise. And you gotta have cheese. I mean, and don't spare yourself on it. This is what we call Mexican four cheese blend and it is good. So, what happens now? Roller over here, give it a tuck right here. See it, tuck it. Then what we're gonna do, any of that stuff that tried to jump out on the end, we're gonna place him right in there. Same thing happens again, it's called repetition. So, it's back to the sauce. Look at that, I mean, that, that is what I call the right consistency. Make sure everybody gets some. And it is such a beautiful day that God has blessed us with here in the southwest corner of Oklahoma. I'm gonna cook this outside. But hang on, Shan gonna give you the recipe in the little link below for the conversion in the modern kitchen which be in the house. So we're gonna put them on the trivet. We're gonna take some of these good and hot ones, put up here on top. As you can see, we went pretty light around the outside edge on the bottom, pretty heavy on top, because we want this just to simmer through, let, every, let them tortillas get good and soft, everything get to going. But we're always going to keep a lighter heat on the bottom, and we'll probably even take it off the bottom heat when things go to simmering real well, leave the top heat on there till we get ready to add that cheese. There ain't no wind today, but we still will rotate that oven. Remember, lid one way, oven the other to even out some of them hot spots that we might have. Let's check this rascal, because I'm pretty sure we had a good simmering point here, and you can see things are happening. So we've probably been simmering about that speed for about five minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that off and let it set right here. Because remember, that meat was brown, it was cooked, the enchilada sauce was hot and warm, so I don't wanna burn or scorch that in any way on the bottom. We're gonna check and see if them little tortillas is getting tender on top. See there, they will fork apart. So what happens now? It's the cheesy goodness time. You can never have too much cheese on an enchilada, a taco, a pancake, an egg, ice cream. Cheese is what's happening. Whoa, look what Santa just threw me right out of the sleigh when he passed by. Some more cheese. How much are we going to put on there? We're going to put a bunch on there, folks, I promise you. Make sure you get you good and covered all the way around. I can done see it's already trying to melt. Lid goes back on. That top heat is still good and hot. It's gonna melt that cheese. It ain't gonna take long. Don't wanna scorch that cheese neither. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. Probably two or three minutes. Be a done deal. That dog will hunt. That there, folks, nearly make a grown man cry. That is what I call goodness. Now I like to dip down in here, get me some of that sauce, put right back on top of there. Now, I was born at night, but it weren't last night, I promise you. I'm gonna let that rascal cool. It'll stick to the top of your mouth better than polygrip stick to dentures. You don't peel it off there for about a week. Huh. 
Hallelujah. Let it be Christmas every day. Santa going to bring me a whole bunch of stuff. I promise you. I could have saved myself a lot of time and went down there to the grocery store and got a can of that old El Paso or Taco Bell or something like that. But that stuff is pretty thin and really all to me it's just got a vinegar and tomato taste to it is all it is. This here you get the chunky goodness from the original peppers that was dried. They give it a good smoke flavor. The ancho chili sort of gives it a little heat. All that cheese in there. Mm. Folks, we are so glad. Mm that y'all took time to stop by the house today. Me and Shan really appreciate it, we do. It's getting close to that Christmas season and that is a special time for us because we have Christmas every day. That's what it's all about. But from our camp to your camp, make you some enchiladas, set them on the table that night on Christmas Eve. Santa gonna bring you a whole bunch of stuff. God bless you each and every one for tuning in. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hit the subscribe button. Happy holidays. We have this concoction in the newfangled electronic equipment called blender. Because it can't work. <laughs> oh, it's got lights on it. Pulse, liquify. You gotta turn it on and then hit the whatever you want. On. Oh gosh, it's flashing. It's like Christmas. Go off. Oh, I think it's. There. It's. Okay, now hit on and then. <laughs> it went. Something happened to it. Again? Mm hmm. Wait, you made it mad. Why is it flashing? Unplug it and then plug it back in. <laughs> Folks, this is what you get when you have to rely on modern stuff called electricity. It's just one of them deals.